Yes, sir. Tell me what's going on, my friend. Well, I, I started, went to my destination, came back out, got in the car again, tried to start it, and nothing would happen. Um, it did, I did get an indication that my fob battery was low, so I did get a ride home to get a new battery for the fob, put that in. That indicator went off, but nothing else would happen. Okay, so when you try to start it, what happens? Does it? I assume it doesn't crank over. Is that correct? Doesn't crank over. Yeah, nothing from the end view. I just get the um, the dashboard lights, but nothing else. Okay, so everything lights up, but it just doesn't crank. Right. Okay. Have you checked the fuses? Uh, no. Don't know anything about the fuses. Have you checked for codes in the computer? I don't know anything about how to do that either. Have you checked the battery? Yeah, I did check the battery. I had a guy come out. We tested the battery. He said the battery is good, like I put in the note there. Okay. It was at 69% charge and 100% good life or something. He said. Okay. And is this this guy have this have a, has a, has a smart key? A smart key? I don't know what a smart key is, so I guess not. Okay. All right, so your question to me is what could be causing this. Is that correct? Yes. I, mean, I am going to probably have to get it towed, I guess, but I was trying to find out if there's something else that can happen here um, that I could possibly do. It seems like it needs to be re something needs to be reset. The brake will not go down either. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> well, what I would, if the battery is good, you know, it, it passes a load test, I would just make sure that all the fuses are good. So you have a couple different fuse boxes on board the vehicle. You have a smart junction box inside the vehicle on the left side of the dash. Right. And then you have a engine room junction block on the left side of the engine compartment. So you're going to want to check both of those, all the fuses in both of those fuse boxes. And if that checks out good, then at that point, we could have either a, like a faulty neutral safety switch or maybe even a faulty starter. Yeah. Now, in some cases, let me tell you this real quick. In some cases, if the if if one of these modules lock up, what could happen is what it would do is it would basically pre it can prevent it from starting. And sometimes, in some cases, if you disconnect the battery cables from the battery and rub the cables together for five minutes, and then reconnect the cables back up to the battery, that will unlock a locked up module. What it does is it discharges all the capacitors inside all the modules on board the vehicle. So you could try that. Oh, okay. I don't have the tools with me. Uh, we did take the battery cables out when I had a mechanic out here. Okay. And reconnect, but we didn't rub them together. Okay. Hmm. There's no security light when the ignition's turned on? No, when I, when I hit the button, it's a push button. So when I hit the button, I just get the, um, all the, you know, that thing and it goes through and the regular lights that always come on. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I would just make sure the fuses are good, check for codes in the computer, and maybe maybe even check for power down at the starter. We might have a bad starter. That's possible. But you can try that battery disconnect procedure, you know, and, and just this time just rub the cables together and you might get lucky. How do you check the code? You got to, with a scan tool, you basically plug into the data link connector under the dash. Oh, okay. You have to have that equipment. Yes, sir. I mean, I, you gave me some information, but most of that I'm probably not going to be able to do here sitting here other than checking all the fuses. But. Well, yeah, right. You can check the fuses and you can do the battery disconnect procedure. Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, it sounds like you were looking for something simple to do before getting it towed, right? Right. So, yeah. you could, so those are at least two things that you could do before you get it towed. Okay. If I was at home, I could. Unfortunately, I'm not at home, so I don't have tools to take it off. I got gotcha. you. And so the only right. other thing, if you want, I can connect you with a mobile mechanic that can come out and take a look at it. Would that help? Well, that might be a bit much. By the time the tow truck, you already got a tow truck on the way, actually. Oh, okay. So, All right. Yeah, I guess I'll just get a tow, but I thought I might get lucky here. Yes, sir. Any other questions while we're on the phone? Uh, no, that's about it. All right, my friend. Good, you, good luck and let us know if anything comes up, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.